Daily Devotionals Read, Ecclesiastes 10 1-20 Imperfect Beings By Stephanie Grace Rello Fools show how stupid sin is. The full-blown sinner is not just evil. He's an idiot. After hearing this from John Piper, I chuckled. I laughed at how he used the words. However, after reflecting for a minute or two, it hits me. I am a sinner. We are all sinners. And it is not funny. We all have a fair share of foolishness in our lives. Looking back to my younger years when I pursued temporary happiness, I felt like I could do things independently. I felt like I'm always correct, and I'm doing something to make myself happier and better. However, today, I feel so embarrassed about those days. I learned a lot, but I can admittedly say that I was really young and really foolish. I sinned a lot, and I agree with John Piper, I was an idiot. Like what the Koheleth pointed out, foolishness can resort to a wise man's dishonor. Our foolishness can't be hidden. The light will always find its way to reveal our vicious secrets. It shows through our words and actions. Collectively, it shows through our people's and nation's status quo. It's really hard not to sin. It's really hard to love the unlovable. It's really hard to forgive. It's really hard to follow and obey God. It's really hard to surrender everything to Him. It's indeed a narrow gate. But the Gospels remind us that in Jesus there's rest, Christ's yoke is easy. We should lift our burdens to Him, it's not up to us. We can be the wisest person in the world, but we will, one way or the other, stumble and be foolish for different reasons. Therefore, let's go back to God's grace and trust that in Him, there is rest and mercy. Reflection I hear a lot of preachers call God the God of second chances. I concur. In fact, I think He is a God of numerous opportunities. I believe as Christians, we don't want to sin and be foolish deliberately. Therefore, let's give allowance to ourselves and turn back to our Father God. Repent and rest in His yoke. However, if you have yet to accept Jesus in your life, I encourage you to take a wise decision now and let Jesus redeem you from all the foolish things you have been doing and going through. In Him, there is rest, grace and salvation. Prayer Lord, we all come from dust, and in dust we will all return. Being these beings from dust, we are foolish and imperfect. However, You who is perfect and holy loved us so much that You gave Your only begotten Son to save us from our sins. Help us give up control. Open our eyes. Be in our life. In Jesus' name. Amen.